Judd Tully, and we're at Freeze Masters, and we're standing in a kind of mini retrospective of the great uh, late Dutch American artist Willem de Kooning, and the painting behind me, Mary's Table Flowers from 1971 is priced at $10 million, and the least expensive one is $100,000 if you're on a tight budget. De Kooning is a kind of king of a sort of expressionist style, very rich painting. He stopped painting for a period of time and devoted himself to bronze. And this, The Hostess, is also an extraordinary work. It's from an edition of six plus two artist proofs, and this is priced at approximately eight and a half million dollars. standing in front of a 1960 painting by the Japanese artist Kazuo Shiragi, and he's part of the Gutai group, which was related in part to the abstract expressionist movement. The big difference here is that this is known as a performative painting, meaning the artist literally stepped into the work with his bare feet suspended and painted with his feet, essentially, in a kind of acrobatic way. This is a painting by the French artist Marcel Reyes. 1964, it's called Broken Painting, and as you can see, it literally is broken. The upper right-hand corner of the canvas is injured, so to speak, and this is almost a cult figure, this artist. Not that well known, again, in, say, if we were in New York or uh, even here in London. In France, he's a complete uh, superstar's work. It's very rare, very difficult to get on the open market. This is quite a, is a right? move from okay. the pop art movement that we were talking about a moment ago. This is a 16th century artist, uh, or after an artist by the name of Archimbaldo. And this is a famous series, and as you can see, it's quite bizarre and surreal in that the figures are all made out of fruits, plants, and these are sold as a set. You can walk away from Freeze Masters with this group for slightly under two million pounds. And this still life is also emblematic of what this art fair seems to stand for in the sense that it's very high quality, fairly rare to the market, and it also bridges many art periods from, again, talking about uh, 17th century, 16th century Europe to Japan of the 60s and New York of the 70s and beyond. Yeah.